Today's video was brought to you by Newton Said. They'll buy your device for a very nice price. Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic here today, and I'm making a video on how to make your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad run as a external USB drive. So if you have to um, plug, as you can see right there, USB drive, as you, so you can um, you know put stuff on it. Um, so what you're gonna need is, like I said, an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Doesn't matter what generation, and it's gonna have to be jailbroken on any firmware. So this is jailbroken on 3.1.3, and you're gonna want to have Cydia, obviously. So once it's shell broken, you're going to want to open up Cydia. And while we're waiting for open, um, I just want to do a quick shout out and quick talk about Newton's Head. If you've watched any of my other videos about iPhone, it's my iPhone 3G. Um, you know that, that's the 3GS actually, and this is the 3G. Um, Newton's Head has sponsored me, which is really cool. They've been sponsoring me for a little two months. And what they do is um, they buy and sell your they buy your old iDevices from you and then they will sell it to a recycler. So basically, you have an old iPod Touch 2G laying around and it's in good shape. They give you a hundred, they'll give you a hundred and twenty bucks for it. Um, which is a really good deal considering most will give you fifty or sixty. Um, so they'll buy really anything from you. It doesn't just have to be an iPod or iPhone or iPad. They'll buy old Macs up down to the G4. They'll buy your old accessories for your Macs too. Go check them out. Link will be in the description. Um, and they say they're good because they save the environment. They will recycle too. So um, that's just my quick spiel about them. Um, if you have any questions, the link will be in the description or a comment. And let's get started back to the tutorial. So we're just waiting for this to reload its data. Um, go over here real quick. And as you can see, they sent me the iPhone. Oops, that was not good. Probably shouldn't hit the camera. They sent me this iPhone 3GS. Um, and they sent me the iPhone 3G. And they're going to be sponsoring a giveaway for me. So they've been doing a lot for me. And they're going to be giving me some other stuff. So just go check them out. They've been really nice, really helpful, really helped me get my YouTube channel going. Um, I just want to say thanks a lot. Um, if you're watching this, Cater, you're awesome. Um, so I'm actually going to pause the video and once the, it's done reloading the data, I will come back because it's an iPhone 3G and it's relatively slow, especially considering it's running the old city. All right, hey guys, so that took about a minute. So um, once your city is completely reloaded, you're just going to want to go down to Manage and you're going to want to hit Sources. And at the top, you are going to see an edit and add. You won't see this repo or you won't see any of these repos. Um, these are added by me. but you will see an edit and you're going to hit edit and you're going to hit add and you're going to want to type in this repo right here all right type in that repo into that section you're going to want to hit um hit add source so let me open it up one more time add you're going to want to hit add source and then just confirm it and it's going to install the one it's, once it's done installing it's going to bring you back to this screen. Hit manage, and it's because um, you might have a list of blanks. If you don't, you don't have to do this. Um, hit sources, and just open up this source right here. And this um, first one right here, don't worry about. It's the second one, USB drive. You're going to click on it, and where mine says modify, because I've already already no, I already have it installed. You're going to want to hit install. Um, I'll hit reinstall. And then you're going to want to confirm. I'm going to cancel though because I don't want to reinstall it. Alright, so now once it's reloaded, you shouldn't have to restart or anything. Um, you're just going to want to hit the home button. You're going to scroll over and it should now have an icon that looks similar to this. Hit USB drive. Where's my camera to focus? Um, and now. You're going to be greeted with three things at Drive plus iTunes default drive. Go back to default. All right. So now what you're going to want to do is hit create disk. For the sake of the video, let's name it um, um, disk one. I said volume one, but we're going to change it to disk one because it was special. Hit save, and now you can create a petition. Um, for the sake, we'll just we'll do a really small one. We'll do we'll do um, no. A little smaller. We'll do 87 megabytes. Hit create. 
and just so you can see it's going to do really fast. If you know, obviously, the longer the video takes, I mean, the longer the partition, or bigger, I should say, the longer it's going to take. So I did a 6 gigabyte one earlier today. It took about 20 minutes. This is an 87 megabyte one, and it's going to take about 30 seconds. All right, so we'll just wait for it to finish. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to hit end, and let's unplug the iPhone 3GS, and let's plug in the iPhone 3G. As you can see, it now says disk one. Um, I had a little bit of error getting it to say that. So what I did is, let me just, what I did was I went in to my disk, my USB drive, and I changed it from default to drive plus iTunes. And as you can see, And now it's just disk one on my diff computer. So that's pretty much how you get your iPhone to act as an external hard drive. If you guys have any questions, what the hell are you bouncing about? Yeah, I know it's on 4.2.1. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Um, and stay tuned for the giveaway that's going to be sponsored by um, New Inside. And go check on newinside.com. They will sell your device. They will buy your device for a very nice price. So for Apple Fanatic, it's me saying peace and go check out New Inside.